a diversity of childhoods, considering the looked after childhood. By Luke Jones, Signet Healthcare Bradford, and Kirsty Lidiard, School of Education and iHuman, University of Sheffield. In this short film, we want to tell you about our chapter in the Palgrave Handbook of Disabled Children's Childhood Studies. The chapter centres on the lives of disabled and looked after children, many of whom are disabled. We ask, can disabled children's childhood studies be useful towards thinking about other forms of non-normative childhood? We focus on the lives of children who are looked after, a child who is being cared for by the local authority. And critically explore our own experiences of being long-term family foster carers to a looked after child. We suggest that there are important overlaps in the lived experiences of children who are disabled and or looked after. For example, both have lives and futures that can be dominated by professionals and services. As such, both groups and their families can be subject to extensive surveillance that we suggest can disrupt family intimacy. And both are expected to carry out emotional labour to explain their difference to curious or nosy others. Helpfully, disabled children's childhood studies make space to theorise the emotional and the intimate, which other studies of disability often omit. Other similarities include deficit discourses rendering looked after and disabled childhoods as tragic. And young people's lives as lacking vitality, vibrancy and future. Both groups are unfairly measured against the standard child. And are readily pathologised and psychologised as a result. Not to mention that both disabled children and looked after children experience transition services that are not good enough and which do not meet their needs. But ultimately, we think that the lives of young care leavers and disabled young people in transition remind us that all humans need support. Not only in times of transition or change, but throughout our lives and across the life course. We all rely on multiple supports, systems, people and communities to survive. We are all only ever interdependent. So then, can disabled childhood studies be useful for thinking about other forms of non-normative childhood? Yes. Interested? You can read more. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.